Hello and welcome to Livewise Buy, Hold, Sell. I'm Ali Selby and today we are turning the mic to you. We've invited Marcus Burns from Sferia and Chris Stott from 1851 Capital to analyse the top stocks requested across Livewise platforms. Plus, they'll also name one stock that they think is ready for a rebound. Thank you for joining me, gents. I'll start on you, Marcus. First up, we have Brainship Holdings. Yep. Its share price is up a whopping 850% over the past 12 months. Do you think it's a buy, hold or sell? Um, <laughs> I think it's a screaming sell. Um, <laughs> I, 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 you know, the business has no revenue as $15 million plus, of course. And um, who knows what a neuromorphic chip is? Chris, over to you. Do you think it's a buy, hold or sell? No, it's definitely a sell. Um, yeah, less than a million dollars of revenue. They've probably got a year's worth of cash in the bank. So if I was them, I'd be out there raising money right now. Next up, we have <laughs> gift and prepaid card provider EML Payments. It's been in the news for all the wrong reasons recently. Mm. But can investors pick up a, you know, a good stock at a discount? Is it a buy, hold or sell? It's a sell for us. So we're taught, taught in early age, never invest in binary outcomes. And we've got that right now with AML, with you know the controversy around the um, you know around, over there in Ireland. So we await the decision there, but I think it's too risky at this point until we get clarity around that situation. So sell. Marcus, its share price is still up around 130% over the past 12 months. Do you think it's a buy, hold, or sell? Uh, look, I think it's a sell as well. It's um, you know even post that massive drop in the share price, it's still on a massive multiple. So people are still banking in a huge amount of growth long term, um, and we just don't think the quality of business is there to really support it. Next up, we have Tezzerent, which is Australia's largest listed cybersecurity company. Do you think it's a buy, hold, or sell? I think it's probably a sell. Um, again, it's you know roll up of about seven or eight acquisitions over the last fifteen or so months. Uh, it's still integrating those. I think, don't think the business model is being really defined that well. And again, it doesn't it barely makes any money for for a market of two hundred fifty million, two hundred twenty million dollars or something like that. So, um, seems rich for us for a business that's just kind of finding its way. It's still been pretty good for investors' pockets. It's up around 233% over the past 12 months. What do you think, Chris? Is it a buy, hold or sell? Hold for us. Um, you know, cyber is an attractive area, obviously, over the medium to longer term. But a few things make us nervous short term. One, Patrick Flanagan, highly regarded um, director, left the board only a few months ago. Uh, and, and echoing Marcus's thoughts around you know, the integration of all these acquisitions, it's going to be very tough, I think, for them to do that over the next couple of years. So I'll hold. Okay, we've talked about our fan favourites. Let's talk about beaten down stocks that are ready for a rebound. Chris, I'll start on you. What have you brought for us today? Frontier Digital, so FDV. Um, you know, it's a collection. It's essentially the REA and car sales of emerging markets. So run by Sean DeGlorio, XI Property Group, XREA. Um, really good skin in the game again in terms of his shareholding. So we think they've got exposure to some really exciting assets, particularly over there in South America. So we think um, that's been caught up in the recent weakness in the tech sector. We think it's a buy. Awesome. Marcus, your time in the hot seat. What have you brought for us? Okay, a stock called Maxitrans, MXI. It's a, uh, again, on truck theme. It's a, it's a truck uh, trailer producer, one of the leading ones in Australia. Uh, so quite cyclical, but going through a bit of rebound right now and um, has a truck trailer parts business as well, bolted onto that. Uh, again, really cheap. Um, it's sold some assets in the last two or three years, sold some property off, so it comes, you know, ungeared, um, very cheap, and it's got incredible rebound earnings ahead of it. So we like that one a lot. Well, Marcus brought along Maxitrans and Chris brought along Frontier Digital Ventures, but we'd love to know what you think. What beaten down stock do you think is ready for a rebound? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're adding new content every week.